channel. So today we're going to do another HP tuner video. Uh, this time I'm going to go in and try to turn the traction control off on my car. It's something I've uh, meant to do for a while, I just keep forgetting about it. But whenever I go to run the port a mile or do a 0 to 60, it seems like I always forget to turn it off. So uh, I'm going to try and get rid of it here today. I've, I've never seen it done online, so I'm not 100% sure how to do it. We're going to give it a try. Okay, so we're inside the car here now. I'm going to open up HP tuners. Okay, so now I'm going to open up my current tune that I actually have in the car. Which, okay, that's the 6th gen. Here's the one that I currently got in the car. Open that up. And I believe it's under the transmission, but I'm not sure. Like I say, I've never actually seen this done. Torque management, no. Torque converter, no. So I could be wrong. I think it's actually under engine. There we go. Torque model, torque management. Uh, I'll go in here and we'll change all these to zero. Go up here and put zero and hit the equals. And like I say, I don't know if this is going to do it or not, but we're going to find out. Change all these to zero. I don't know if it would make any difference here to change this or not. Max time. We'll, we'll change it anyway. Change this to zero. Whoops. Zero. Ramp out. Set to zero. Okay, I'm just going to say that's it for now, so I'm going to save that. Save it the same name. Okay, so I got the tune all set, so we're going to hook up HP tuners. So I'll plug that in. You plug this into your your OBD2 port. Okay, I got a cable. I just can't really see it, but I got a cable that stays in the car for this. And we'll I get everything under one cable. I use a USB-C cable. I got my uh uh, wide band on it too, so I just have one plug in Okay, so we're, I'm gonna flash this tune. So we'll go into VCM editor. I didn't actually have to back out I just find it easier for the video plus I had to turn off the screen recording software. I don't want to run it with uh, I Don't want to run it at the same time when I'm trying to load the tune Okay, so go back under here. It's probably already in there, but I I, just to be safe, I always go in and, and uh, click on the file that I want instead of just relying on it to automatically bring up the last tune you were on. Okay, so next I gotta just turn the ignition on. But you don't start the car, you just turn the ignition on. And then you wanna hit right vehicle. Okay, it must be all connected, so I'll hit right. Doesn't take that long to write, probably 30 seconds or less.
Okay, so it's done. So I'll hit close. Just close out of that. I like to turn the key off. And we'll open up the VCM uh, scanner. Okay, we'll start the car up. Anyway guys, that turned out to be a complete failure. Uh, I've been all through HP tuners. I can't find anything to shut that off other than what I showed in the video. I think the only way to get rid of traction control is you're going to have to unhook it underneath the hood. And I'm not going to do that because I don't want to, I don't want to be tearing stuff apart in the car. Uh, for example, the air conditioner in this car works perfect, but I never use it. And I even thought about removing it. But then I just, I changed my mind. I'm, I'm not going to tear this car up. So, uh, and uh, the part where you see me driving up by the camera when I'm driving in, I actually filmed where I tried the traction control and it, it, it wouldn't spin. It just kept kicking the pedal back in my foot. But uh, that footage, for some reason, the camera didn't get it for some reason. These are issues you have with uh, making videos for YouTube. Uh, probably some people are thinking if this didn't work, what's the sense of uh, posting the video? And you're probably right. But uh, I just want to go. I just want to show that sometimes when we make these videos or when we try to do things in HP tuners, it doesn't work out. Normally, I wouldn't uh, post the video where it didn't work. I probably there's probably a dozen or more videos that I haven't posted just because. Things don't always work out when you're working on these cars and you're trying to trying to gain performance or trying to fix this or that. Sometimes it just doesn't work. But I figured I'd post it anyway because I think the what it comes down to, uh, you can't remove the traction control on these cars, uh, at least not through the computer. You have to go under the hood and, and remove some stuff. And, and again, I'm not going to do that. Uh, the plan with this car is once I get it in the high 11s, I'm going to start focusing on. I'm not going to stop modifying the car. Obviously, I'm. I'm even after I hit high 11s, I'm going to want. I'm going to want to go faster. But there's a few things I want to take care of. There's a. The paint on this car is pretty well perfect, except for a few areas that I want to get resprayed. I. Uh, one of the plans is to get a new set of wheels. I'm going to stick with factory wheels, but I want the, these here are the 10 spoke and uh, one of the options in 2002 was a set of 5 spoke. I want to get a set of them. Uh, we used to call them the ZR1 wheels, but uh, they're, they're off like the, I think it was the early 90s ZR, ZR1 Corvettes. But anyway, that's what I want. I want a set of the 5 spoke. And I'm not happy with the exhaust. I don't mind the exhaust being loud when I'm at wide open throttle, but it's loud when you're just cruising around. So I, I found uh, uh, you can get mufflers that they're basically got a valve in them, same as what the factory has on the 6th gen. So eventually I want to upgrade the mufflers to, to that so I can have it quiet when I'm just cruising around and you can open the valve up and then it'd be loud again when you're when you're actually running a quarter mile or zero to 60 or whatever. And uh, like I said, I would love to be able to remove the air conditioning from this car because I never use it. And I think by removing it, you'd uh, save some weight. Uh, but the biggest thing, I think the, cool, the car would cool a lot better without that condenser sitting in front of the radiator. But again, I don't want to destroy this car. I, uh, one, of these, one of these days I want to fix all the issues that it has from me modifying the car. And uh, so like I say, I don't want to tear it all up. But anyway guys, uh, the video was a failure. But I, like I say, I'm going to post it anyway just to show that 
these videos don't always work out. Normally I wouldn't post this video, but like I say, I've probably got a dozen or more videos that I never posted for things not working out. But this is just, this is just the way it goes when you're modifying a car. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.